a filmmaker focusing in on a Cincinnati tradition. And his project has the game of cornhole hitting the big screen. News 5's Michelle Hopkins joins us with more in the story new at 530. Michelle? Yeah, producers of Cornhole the movie are busy shooting all over the Tri-State trying to give a Cincinnati flavor to a movie they're hoping to take nationwide. And today we caught up with the cast and crew in Blue Ash for Lights, Camera, Action. Thrown from here to here. Logos Bar and Grill in Blue Ash, the backdrop today for Cornhole the Movie, about four teams trying to make it to the National Cornhole Championship. 90% of the cast and crew, all Cincinnati, just like the game, and producers like it. Director Tim Clark says the craziness surrounding Cornhole makes the movie. Lots of energy, absolutely. Not only from, the, you know, just feed off the crowd and the actors and everybody just, it just works off each other. Elaine Clark plays the lead role of Gina. Oh, Gina, Gina, Gina. A girl you love to hate, feisty, and you know, kind of mean. I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, I want to win. I do everything I can to manipulate the game to win. What we try to do is take a look at when a, what, what is a hobby, is turned into a little bit more of an obsession. That's where the comedy part comes in. Just happy to be here in the mix are the extras. For locals like Betty Baumiller, it's great. Did you always want to be in a movie? Oh my gosh, <laughs> doesn't everybody? Especially the real deal cornhole players like Chu Farsing, who's having a ball. I'd like to describe it as stupid funny. You know, because we just have a great time with it. While the locals have fun getting into the game, the producers and actors are hoping Cornhole hits the big time. We want to make it go nationwide. We want it to go all over the country. And the director hopes to have Cornhole the movie finished in February in time for the Sundance Film Festival. If it gets noticed there, it could end up at a theater near you. By the way, they still need extras. If you're interested, log on to our website. That's WLWT.com. Click on News 5 links. Michelle Hopkins, News 5, where the news comes first.